Hey guys, Jack here. Hargreaves Lanzao is one of the most popular investment and traditionally has been the go-to investment platform in the UK for a very, very long time. Since it started in 1981 by Peter Hargreaves and Stefan Lansdowne, it has been able to amass millions of customers with over £91 billion pounds under management. However, is HL's reign as the king of UK investing about to end? Featuring a fairly new investment startup after receiving investment by a couple crowdfunding campaigns, has has been able to amass over 600,000 registered users with trading volumes over £1 billion every quarter. In this David versus Goliath story, we're going to be comparing the critical factors in what makes an investment platform good to help you decide which is the best platform for your needs. And along the way, we're going to be looking at some hidden fees in which you won't just realize unless you really dig deep into these platforms, which I've done for you. First of all, we have the user interface. How clear is the platforms and how easy are they to navigate across without getting confused and investing in the wrong thing? Free Trade has one of the most sleekest and the most easy to use investment platforms in the investment scene in the UK. However, it does not have a web app. You can only access your investment through a mobile device which is okay because it's not like you can research on the app or would use it in any other way because you pretty much can't it's as no frills as you can get with investing you can search on the app for a stock invest and that's it it's in fact what i call the 99p mayo chicken of the investment world it may fill some of your appetite but certainly does not have any spice or any interesting flavors hold on do you see that that's my McDonald's sponsorship going as we speak. In all seriousness, HL kicks it out of the park when it comes to features. You can use the Investment Fund Finder tool to help you identify various funds. You have the use of their investment reports, which can be very, very handy in tracking exactly where your money is going, especially if you tend to invest in a large amount of stocks. Another thing which really pushes Hargreaves lands down just a little bit further for the user interface is that you can select exactly how many shares you want to buy in a particular company. On free trade, you cannot buy an exact amount of shares by inputting how many shares you want. You in fact have to quantify how much you want to invest instead, like you are buying fruit and veg by the pound. Like if you wanted to buy one pound of apples or something, we're not just trying to buy apples and pears here, we're trying to buy stocks, we're trying to invest in the Apple stock, which obviously becomes difficult. If you have a monthly allocation to specific companies and you want to buy a specific amount of shares, you're gonna to have to play around with the input a little bit to get the right amount of number, which equals the amount of shares you want. Another thing free trade to free version doesn't let you do is have a limit order. In case you aren't familiar, this is a really handy special type of order where you set how many shares you want to buy or sell at a specific price. And it is used when you don't want to wait and monitor when your desired share price is hit. It just takes care of that for you behind the scenes. Hargreaves Lansdowne let you do that straight off the bat, where in free trade you have to get the premium pay monthly version plus add-on to actually take advantage of that feature. Now, one of the most important, or if not the most important factor I consider when investing is fees, cost. What is the cheapest investment platform in the UK out of free trade and Hargreaves Lansdowne? Hargreaves Lansdowne will charge you a whopping £11.95 per trade if you were to do 9 or less trades per month. It does go down to £5.95 per trade if you were to do 20 trades plus per month. £5.95 is about the same price as a chicken legend meal at McDonald's and I don't know about you but I'd rather spend that £5.95 at McDonald's rather than giving it to HL. You see that? That's my McDonald's sponsorship coming back. And that's not all when it comes to charges. You've got your 0.45% annual charge capped at £45 a year just for keeping your investments in HL. On the flip side, on free trade, it is what it says on a tin for the most part. There is no commissions per trade and no annual fees for the free account. So right off the bat, you're saving hundreds, if not thousands throughout your investment journey. However, there is a downside to free trade. If you want to open up an investment ISA, which is a tax-free wrapper for your investments, if you're not familiar, you have to pay three pound a month ISA fee, which is still cheaper than you just making one trade on HL per month. Especially if you consider that Hargreaves Lansdowne charges a whopping 1% currency exchange fee when you invest in non-UK stocks. 
whereas free trade charged 0.45%, less than half. In my preparation and my research for this video, I went a little bit further. I thought maybe free trade are putting some of the charges in the buy price of their shares, inflating their share prices. However, after comparing a bunch of different stocks, it was certainly not the case. There was no visible price difference to worry about in the spreads. Now we all know that pricing of some stocks can be quite expensive, like Tesla, which can run you up to five to $600, depending on the day. Now, if you wanted to invest with HL, you would be quite limited to only getting the shares you can actually afford the full price of. However, on free trade, you can get what's called fractional shares, literally buying pieces of the company for as much as you wanted to invest with. You can invest £5 into Tesla for example, where on HO, you would need to purchase a whole share. Now this can be really damaging in my book when it comes to diversification and exposing yourself to a decent portfolio. If you're limited to what you can buy, then you could potentially miss out on some huge opportunities on the market. Imagine if you miss out on a couple good growth stocks because the price per share was too expensive, or you can't diversify your portfolio portfolio much because some individual shares in a particular sector are just too expensive. For this, I think fractional shares are a critical must-have feature and unfortunately, Horgis Lansdow do not provide it. Another factor is safety. Well, as both of these companies are registered with the FCA, Financial Conduct Authority, cash deposits are secured just like any other bank on the high street for up to £85,000. However, we aren't going to keep that much cash in our investment account anyway. We are going to invest it, that's the whole point. So from an investment point of view, is our stock portfolio safe with a free trade or hard griefs? What would happen if any of these went bust? Well, according to free trade's own website, they operate a policy where they hold our assets, our stocks, with a custodian account. And they do have a detailed record of who owns what. So they can distribute the funds correctly if in an event they go bust. Hargreaves Lansdowne operate a similar type of policy, but the benefit of HL is that they have a long established reputation and they hold a huge amount of cash on their balance sheet, reducing the likelihood of them going bust. And they are a publicly listed company, so they have to be a bit more transparent by force because of the financial information they have to disclose. Now, there was an article where somebody in the UK was getting hit by a 15% fee on HO for simply having the wrong setting on their account. But before we move on to that and how you can be equipped to avoid such fees, I want to touch base on the integrity and ethics of these platforms as another factor. Although, understandably, they are both a business and they to make money. But sometimes with your investment broker, you don't want to have that relationship Relationship where you're constantly feeling that you're getting ripped off in some way. Well, on free trade, they do this quite well. As well as offering clear pricing, they don't offer anything like CFDs or spread betting, where historically 70% plus of people lose their money. From an ethical point of view, Hargreaves Lansdowne has lost my trust in many ways. For instance, it's facing a legal action for allegedly promoting the Woodford Equity Income Fund on its platform, which eventually went bust, even though its own analysts warned about the fund's liquidity issues two years ago. And back to the guy who got charged an alleged 15% in fees. There was allegedly a fee in their terms of service where investors were charged for receiving paper statements and some investment reports. This amounted to a 10 pound plus fat fee being charged twice a year every single year unless they registered for the paperless service. That is a huge amount of money and potentially can wipe out any gains depending on how many shares you own and how long you're holding them for. So to round off, despite the reputation of the long established investment platform, free trade is definitely the better platform for my needs. So let me know what you guys think. What platform do you use? What do you think about this? Really curious to know, leave it in the comments, leave a like if you found this video useful and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching.